it's Nicole, and today we're talking about reading and writing decimals. So I have a handy dandy chart here, a little circle that's been divided into 10 pieces of pie. Let's say I wanted to have one piece of pie. So I'm going to highlight just one piece. Well, we know in the fraction world, if I said, uh, go ahead and write a fraction for that, we would say, well, there's 10 total, and I've highlighted one piece. So there's my fraction, one tenth. But I can also write a decimal for this. And that decimal would be 0 0.1 because this is in the tenths place, so that's one tenth. Let's say I was a little hungrier and I wanted to, you know, eat a few more pieces. It happens. Don't judge. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to highlight two more pieces. So in total, I've had three pieces of pie. Well, what's the fraction does that represent? I've had three out of the ten pieces. And a decimal for three tenths is three tenths, because we're still in the tenths place. And let's say, oh gosh, I just lost it all and I decided to have a full seven pieces of pie. Now we're down to seven tenths. We're still over 10, because 10 is our total. And our decimal is 0 0.7. Let's make those decimal spots nice and big so you can see them. Okay, so let's take a little further look at how we write decimals. Take a look at this. Here I have 57 out of 100 students. Let's say they had chocolate milk today for lunch. I'm always thinking about food. What is the problem with me? <laughs> so 57 out of 100. How would we write that as a fraction? Well, literally just what I said. 57 out of 100. Now, how would we write that as a decimal? Well, what I like to do is write the decimal first and then figure out how many spots I have. Well, we know that there's 57. Seven's going to go in the hundredth spot. Five is in the tenth. Seven's in the hundredth. So there's our decimal, 0 0.57. Let's say that we now know that 83 students had milk, period. What's that fraction? 83 over 100, and what's that decimal? Same thing, 0 0.83, because we had that 3 in the hundredth place. Take a look at this. We have a nice, big, long decimal. And if I said to you, which what digit is in the 10,000th place? Well, the first thing we want to do is go find the 10,000th place. Well, we start here. We know this is the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. It's time for a new red marker or purple marker. And we know that one is in the ten thousandths place. What if I reversed it around and I said, tell me what uh, place the five is in? Again, we start moving from our decimal out. We know this is the tenths, the hundredths, and there we go, five is in the hundredths place. One more. Uh, what is in the hundred, the hundred, hundred thousandths place? I had to think for a second of what I wanted. <laughs> the hundred thousandths place. Well, let's go. Tens, tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousandths place. And that would be our three. Okay, let's examine a few more things about decimals. Now let's take a look at the writing part of decimals. So I have a decimal here. If I asked you to write this using words, let's see what we would do. Well, we know the 15 is just a nice normal 15. So we can write that, 15. Now we've gotten to a decimal. In math, whenever we see a decimal, how that translates in writing is the word and. So the moment I see and, I know there's going to be something after, like something that's going to be a decimal after my main number. So we have 15 and decimal coming. And here to read this, we go out to the last digit and we see what place value that is. We can see that our two is in the hundredths place. So now we're just going to read 52 hundredths. Take a look. 52, and our normal rules apply. We're going to hyphenate 52, and we're going to do hundredths. 
So it's with the D and the THS, which sim signifies that we're talking about a decimal. This decimal doesn't have a whole number at the front. So we're not going to do, you know, 15 and something. We're just going to give our number and make sure we have that THS on the end of wherever we land. So let's go. This three is in what place? Tens, hundreds, thousands. It's in the thousands place. So now we're just going to read it. 23. We're going to hyphenate our 23. And we put the place that it's in. 23 thousandths with the THS on the end. That's a little of how we read and write our decimals. The final thing I want to show you is how we take the written word and write a decimal from it. Let's take a look. 122 and 42 hundredths. So the first thing you should notice is the word and popped up. When we know the word and is there, we have a whole number and a decimal. So let's get the whole number part down. 122. Well, you know that. 122. And we see and that relates to a decimal point. 42 hundredths. So we know we're going to go out to the hundredths place, which is here. And now let's just put in our 42. So this is how you write the decimal for 122 and 42 hundredths. One last example. Here it says 61 ten thousandths. So my first question for you is, is this a mixed number? No, it's not because we don't see the word and anywhere. So we know we're just writing the decimal portion, which means that we're going to start with a zero and a decimal point. Now we can figure out where to put everything else. So 61 ten thousandths, we're going out to the ten thousandths, so let's go ahead and kind of sketch it out. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. And our number is 61. So we're going to put our number 61 to the far right and fill in there. And what do we do with these two spaces? This is where we use zeros as placeholders. So we're going to put our zero here and our zero here. And that is how you do 61 ten thousandths. So that was a broad overview of how we read and write decimals. Make sure you try a number of these problems in our practice. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.